Hey everyone. How y'all doing today? I think we may all know by now that JD has submitted his opening brief at the Court of Appeals in Virginia. But, if you haven't already seen the filing or you don't know quite exactly what it's about, I thought I'd make a few quick summary videos in sequence. I've just done argument 1, so, let's take a look at argument 2. So here is argument 2. The trial court erred in refusing Mr. Depp's proposed jury instruction numbers 22, 23 and 24, as to whether Mr. Waldman was acting as an independent contractor when he made the counterclaim statements. This is a very important argument. You don't win appeals on the weight of evidence, or saying that there wasn't enough evidence, but what you do win on is the legal instructions to the jury. The judge has an obligation to accurately instruct the jury as to the law, and those are the rules by which the jury has to decide this case. JD doesn't go into whether instructions were given, what they are saying is that instructions that were not given should have been. The judge told the jury that they could find JD responsible if the five elements were proven, but failed to indicate what the specifics were. It is also saying that the jury were not given the definition of an agent to compare with an independent contractor. The jury had not been informed that they had to find that Adam was acting under a power or right of JD to control Adam's means or methods of performing legal services. That's key. If the jury understood this, it isn't the fact that this guy was the lawyer for JD, it is that JD had the right to control the way that Adam performed. Jurors do need to be instructed properly and given the correct information when it's required, rather than not at all or at a later stage. They most likely won't have spent years at law school studying the ins and outs. And, they have to be given clear instruction as to what they should and shouldn't do, and how to do it. So, in a nutshell, JD is basically saying that, the jury were not properly instructed as to what a lawyer-client relationship is about for example, and therefore, could not make a proven decision, to the claim that Adam was in fact speaking on behalf of JD with his knowledge and permission. Well, that's a very brief summary of argument 2. I hope that it has been useful. Look out for argument 3 which will be out shortly. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for being here.